Hi, Tiger. I'm like, what, one minute early? Hi, Tiger. Hi, Jane. Do I have this? I think I have my tripod just a little too close. Hi, Karen. Good morning, Sean. How are you guys all doing today? Good morning. Happy Monday. I hope you guys are all doing good. I wanted to go ahead and come on just like a few minutes early because I'm feeling really, really bad. I have a couple boxes over here that I need to open that I've just, I'm just, I'm trying to like do things so quickly and then, you know, so this one I have opened, but I wanted to share it with you. Hi, Daniel. Hey, Lucy girl. Hi, Holly. Yay, yay, yay. School is out. Holly, I sent you an email. I need your address so I can send you your sticker. All right, so this first little package, and we are going to go shop the shelves. So I'm going to, I hate to say I'm going to open these packages really quickly, but I'm going to kind of open them a little bit quickly so we can go over there and start on the sale. But this package is from Sue Cuthbert, um, and it says, Hello again from New Jersey. A while back, I sent you a box of dolls, the broken one, rolled out onto the floor. Yes, we remember that. Um, I recently went thrifting and had to um, get this vintage stick figure to send your way. Thought of you immediately. And it was wrapped. Look at this. How beautiful it was wrapped. And I'm going to like pass this on. So I will include these things in somebody else's package. But I opened it up and I loved it. Look, it's a stick figure. It, oh, she almost looks like a Lucite candle in a way. And it says, Wonder Woman works here. <laughs> it's stick there. And she still has the tag. Look, she's got a little bow in her hair. And she's like, I love this. This is so fun, Sue. Oh my gosh, I love that. I'm going to put that on my desk. That is so cool. I love that it looks almost like a, a Lucite candle. Isn't that nice? Hi, Randy girl. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Sandra from the Carolinas. So I wanted to show that to you. That was so thoughtful of you, Sue. And I'm definitely gonna put that over there, over there on my desk. All right, so really quickly too, this box I'm really excited about because I know that there's snacks in here because I peeked inside. This box is from Dolores, Miss Damn Jewelry. And I haven't seen if she's on here or not. I don't know if she is or not. But, ooh, hello from Colorado. But here's the box. I've peeked inside, all right? But I haven't, like, oh, she's got, like, little, I'll show you the box. She's got, like, little packages and stuff in here as well. But there's snacks in here from the UK, y'all. These came all the way over. So these were, are called randoms, squishums like balancing jelly on ice cream. Look at that. Oh, she would just be leaving work. Oh, we'll have to let her know. I'll send her a link so she can watch me open this. Look at that. They're like gummies. Balloons of possible combinations all bursting with fruitiness. They're like gummies in there. And then these are drumstick squishies. I like the way the UK uses words like they use words like I would use squishies or no these are squashies these are squashies raspberry and milk flavored you know what when I first saw these I thought condoms too tiger I'm not gonna lie that's the first that's the first word that popped in my head tiger you and I and 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 Susan we all you know we kind of thought I, I kind of thought there too and then we have Haribo super mix Kids and grown-ups love these. Now they have hair bows over here, but these are these look different. The happy world of hair bow. I like how they say share size. I'll share them. And then she's got like little bitties in here, but I I wanted to go through the oh gingerbread fingers. McDonald's shortbread thing, not gingerbread, shortbread fingers. Look at the little Scotty dog on there. So these are like little cookies, right? They're shortbread fingers. I like shortbread. See, all kinds of snacks for me to eat. And then we have an ice cream printed sheet face mask. Oh my gosh. 
you know I need to send this to Jeffrey because it it has ice cream cones all over it so he can have an ice cream cone because he loves his ice cream cones. Mm, I wonder if it smells like chocolate. And then we've got Palm Bear Salt and Vinegar Potato Snacks. These are like bear-shaped taters. Tater chips. Bear-shaped tater chips. Palm Bear. You know, I'll open one of these real quick. Because, you know, I can't not open them. Oh, they're a little... Oh, they're a bunch of little... Salt and Vinegar. I know, Dolores is the sweetest. <gasps> Look, they are shaped like little bears. You know, snacks from other countries taste so much better than snacks in the United States. Because, like, you eat a salt and vinegar chip, and it almost takes your breath away because it's so, like, vinegary. These are, like, they don't ruin the roof of your mouth when you eat them. Oh, she sent me a recipe to make some booze. Yeah. A little trivia card. Oh, here's a vanilla one. So we have chocolate and vanilla face masks. Oh, Jeffrey and I, the next time Jeffrey and I get together and have a slumber party, we'll we'll do these. We'll do these together. Oh, here's the note at the very bottom. Oh, who are you? Hazel Quartz, the glamorous young redhead. If your face is round, if your face is long, it tells you hairdos. I have a round face. Don't have a bubble cut. And do lengthen your round cheeks by wearing your hair smooth and straight at the sides. Well, okay. And here's her note. Misty, hello. I hope you are well. I'd like to thank you so much for having me on Vintage Rescue Squad. It was such a fun experience. And you and Michael are amazing hosts. I'm sending you some goodies from the UK as well as some vintage items. Feel free to sell any of the vintage items. I hope you like everything. I'm including two vintage brooches, a brass pixie trinket dish, and a pair of Jersey cow salt and pepper shakers. One is missing its stopper. The shakers are vintage souvenir piece from New Jersey, the largest channel island in the UK. Oh, I'm thinking like New Jersey, like, you know, New, New Jersey, like here, you know? And it's also a cow breed. Again, thank you so much. You're an inspiration to so many people. Take care, Dolores Miller. Miss Damn Jewelry. I love her. I love her. She's just so spunky and fun. Okay, well, she's she said, I mean, we got all these snacks, which will keep me, you know, snacking away for a while. But then she's got these, look how sweet. Because here in the U.S., there are so many preservatives. I agree. I agree. All right. Now, for time's sake, I'm just going to, like, Push these ribbons aside, but I'm going to re reuse all of the ribbons and packages. They're so pretty the way that she's wrapped these. Okay. And then we'll get to picking and we'll get to selling. And you guys will have to bear with me a little bit today because I am going to be doing the writing down myself. I will ask if someone is going to be here the entire time if they would like to do the bid end that would be very helpful let me know if you can do be our bid ender boy Dolores you wrapped it so well oh my goodness <gasps> okay I love this forever okay Karen I saw Karen first so Karen if you can't and then Tiger if you can step in that would I appreciate you guys so much it's really helpful <coughs> okay I'm about to show you something that I, I'm going to love forever. I love this so much. Look, everybody needs one of these. It's just a little lucky pixie. Look at that. Little lucky, lucky, lucky pixie. Looks like he's got boo -loo 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 A little bit. It's a lucky pixie. It's a little trinket. Do you rub his boo -loo 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 for good luck? Although, when I'm like rubbing like this, I don't look too great. Doesn't that rub them for good luck? But I love that. I love that. Watching from downtown Seattle. And for some reasons, oh no. Isn't this Jamie? Okay, you guys see Mid-Century Wasted right there? 
I'm working on the promo, but Wednesday at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, Mid-Century Wasted and I will be having a collaborative sale on my channel. I'm so excited to make sure that you're going to be around for that. I'm going to work on the, um, the thumbnail and stuff today. It's going to be fun. All right. Next little thing. I'm trying, I'm like, I feel bad that I haven't opened these. I'm really trying to make Mondays where I'm not like opening things and we just stick to the sale. But I've been looking at these boxes and I'm like, oh, I feel so bad. I need to open these. Okay, so we're, we're opening them. And I thought that you guys would like to see. I thought you would like to see these. Okay, here's a moo cow. Oh, wow. And it does say Jersey. Boy, Dolores, you wrap these like the Dickens, girl. Okay, here is one. Oh, it's a Jersey cow. Look, Jersey. But not Jersey like Jersey. Like Jersey in in the UK. And I guess Jersey is a sort of a cow. This is probably its buddy. It is. It's its buddy. Buddy cow buddies. Jersey cow buddies. Oh, look at how cute they are. Hi, Carrie girl. Look at the little Jersey cows. Carrie, look at that. We're rubbing them for good luck. Oh, Carrie would enjoy that. Carrie, did that make your day? Ooh, I got all kinds of snacks, guys. Snacks and snacks and snacks. Okay. So these must be the brooches in here. Look how pretty that little bag is. Oh my word, how am I gonna open these? They're so little. I'm trying to be quick, guys, I'm sorry. This is no fun sitting here watching me fight with a thing. In the UK, there is the Isle of Jersey, and they have their own breed of cow. Oh, now, oh my gosh, this, y'all, okay, this matches my dress. I have a little sundress today. I'm being fancy. This is jewelry for Miss Dolores. This is special. I'm going to put it on right now. That's perfect. I feel even fancier. Sundresses are great because they're almost like wearing a nightgown. Right? Am I right? I know, Carrie. But I had to show that to you because I knew that you would really appreciate that. My lucky, my lucky pixie. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I have to put them both on. I don't know if that one's going to stay real great because it's, I don't want it to fall off. Look at me, fancy pants. Dolores, thank you so much. Hi, proud American. Bring back the brooch. Oh, I know, Daniel, there's no comparison. Daniel and Katie both have amazing brooch collections. And Dolores has a beautiful um, jewelry collections, too. So, yay. Thank you, guys. So, so much. I appreciate it. And I feel bad that I'm just now opening it. But it, it, I'm, I'm, like, feeling fancy today. It's today is fancy day. Okay, so what we're going to do now is that we're going to go over to the shelves and we're going to pick 15 items. And we're going to, we're actually going to sell 16 items today because I have one item right here that I bought for myself, but then I decided you don't need that, Misty. And I don't. I'm really, I'm really trying to like downsize and to so I can get some construction done in my house. But I'm going to sell my drum. Randy, Randy, you need this so you can play it for your husband. Look, you can play it this side. Or this side. It could be 
like, I don't know what, this is a snare, I don't know. But look, it ha it's perfect for a 4th of July display. Okay? So, but there is a little rust down here at the bottom, but we don't mind that. So I am going to sell that as well. So that's going to be the 16th item that's going to be sold today, if anybody is interested in that. But, no, he will sing. Your husband needs to be, needs to express his musical abilities. And then you need to record it, Randy Girl, so we can see it. He could sing to his alfs. Randy's husband loves alf. <laughs> okay so we're gonna pick 15 items what will happen is if you see something like i'm just gonna like gonna go with the first things that i see some things some things i mean we'll, we'll be saving for a live sale or if someone has messaged me about and i because i'm trying to pull things that someone has already messaged me about that i may miss some things so if you if you see something that you're interested that I don't pull, you can send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com, and I'll let you know if it's something that's going to be, you know, available or if it's available now. Looky here. He's not for sale. But see him back there? Lee Liberace will now be in all of my videos because I used the stand that Jean sent me. So, and look, there's a picture. Randy Girl sent me this. And so look, Liberace right me and him together i found a liberace thing this weekend too okay so let's yes 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 okay thank you wendy all right let's let's go for a ride and let's go over and we'll pick some things i will try do we want to go to the linens first or okay let me ask you this do we want to go to the linens and pick linens today or do you want me to just have a dedicated linen sale on Instagram? Because I have a lot of linens. So do we want to do like get into the juicy stuff today? I mean, the juicy stuff could be linens to a lot of you people. Linen sale, dedicated sale. See? See? I think so too, Carmen. Mm, mm -mm. Carmen says to mix it in. Ooh, linens, linen sale. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm going to do de my dedicated sales on Instagram. I, I kind of wanted to do one last week, but I had four sales last week, so I could not fit one more in. Um, Oh, Debbie, Instagram is easy peasy. I'll, Debbie, here, just make an account and just play around with it. Just play around with it. It isn't hard at all, and it's it's kind of nice because it's fine-tuned. Like everything that you look for, look at, and search for it's it's different than Facebook because everything like it's like fine-tuned to what interests you so Instagram is lovely I think that you would really like it but just you just have to go in there and play around with it a little bit yeah okay proud American here's a secret okay I I because I agree it's hard very hard to see the chat in a live sale on Instagram it isn't so bad when it's just one person selling. If it's two people, it's definitely a lot harder to see. But what you do is you use your phone because your phone is going to be faster in, for, in order for you to put in your bid. But you have your laptop or a iPad or another device, your, even your, um, your desktop, and you can pull up um, Instagram and pull up the sale and then you can see all of the chat like I could see all of them on Friday night because I was very worried about that you, you you could see it all so you could try that pull it up on your desktop or your laptop and then use your phone to you know to do your bids but yeah that's what I did because I can't see it either I can't see hardly anything I'm very blind but Mark did that for me, and it was like the heavens opened up, you know. So I, your phone is going to be faster, but you can pull up the chat. So, like, blow it up. Like, make it big. And then you can see it shows up just like it does on YouTube. So just play around with it and try it. Just just play around with it and try it. Um, Karen Radford is going to do it today. Um... Yeah, K Carrie, if you want to do it tomorrow, that would be fabulous. I'll, I'll let I'll let the team know. I'll let the team know. 
Okay, so are you guys ready to go for a ride? Okay, so just buckle up. I'm gonna, I'll flip you around so you don't have to like look at my chins as I'm getting up. But I don't know, yeah, just don't look into that light. You might go blind. I'm gonna unplug you, but I'm gonna get the, okay. So, whoop. Okay. First of all, I'll show you a preview. These are the things that I'm selling tomorrow. Tanala, this sugar britches, this is nesting dolls. Look, oh, Canada. There's a lot of Canadian postcards. The Grand Canyon Suite. These three birds will be sold together as a lot. And some an apron lot and a people lot. Okay, a people lot. Wednesday's preview, I'll go ahead and show you now. I'm having a sale with Jamie, Mid-Century Wasted, and I'm bringing some fire Wednesday. I'm just going to say, I've decided to sell my McCoy Pixie planter. Look at the surprised, kind of maybe a little stoned elephants. The Cookie Bell, Tanala, Cat, the Conch Art Glass, the Joseph Original, uh, Daisy and Buttons Fairy Lamp. Oh, Green Opalescent, another postcard. I'm selling some Bittersweet, the uh, Holt Howard Jam and Jelly, and the Holt Howard Little Brown Jug. So these will be on Wednesday sale. So it's going to be a good one. And I know Jamie's going to be bringing some good stuff too. Let's all say hello to Santa. Hi, Santa. All right, so let's go over here to the shelves I gotta do that haul in a minute, but look at these girls. Hmm. Okay, anyway, I gotta film that haul. I have to film lots of hauls today. Okay, so I will show you some of these things really quick too. These are all more of dad's little small things. Um he is very particular. He's like getting all these things out. But look at these little miniature pocket knives. And the miniature harmonica. So he's he like is getting all of his littles. That it was a barrette of some sort. And then look at that belt, a cheetah belt. And some oh we got that. But yeah, he's just kind of these are dominoes made out of bone and ivory. All these pocket watches. So he's just been playing. Playing in all his things. Okay. So, um, where shall we start? I kind of thought maybe we'd start um, in an area that we haven't looked at in a while. This, this is eBay, so we're not going to pay attention to that shelf. But I do have some... I have this coffee set. It's the coffee... Pot, cream, sugar, oh, just cream, no sugar. Three coffee mugs, but no sugar. I've got Pilgrim Glass. You're going to go sell a kidney now. Um, I have this purple Imperial bottle. The tag's just barely hanging on there, but we can we can make it work. Um, the, the Pilgrim Glass, I've got the big and the small. I have, I love this, this old advertisement, this gray seal paint. Why is this doing this? There we go. We got to brighten it back up again. Okay. So Samantha said the purple Imperial. I saw that. Ooh, you do? You know what? This, not only is this a white owl, it is a white owl lamp. It's a white owl lamp. Oop. And it works. His eyes light up. He's all tangled up with Mickey Mouse down there. But yeah, his eyes light up. Someone's knocking on my door. Why is it someone always knocks on the door when I can't when I'm live and I can't answer? Oh, it's just UPS. Never mind. They're fine. Okay. So the owl lamp. Okay, UPS man. Oh my gosh. 
Do I need a sign for something, UPS man? Okay, you guys might have to come with me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but UPS man evidently wants me to sign for something. So let's go for a ride. Coming! Oh, no, no, wait. We're here. <laughs> Hi. You guys are right along with me. Hello. She's got the one for you. Okay, great. There you are. Okay, I thank appreciate you. It. Have a good one. You too. I don't know what this is. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm twirling this because I can't lift it. So hopefully it's not gonna. I think it's something that Emma has ordered. Okay. <laughs> hey. Bye, UPS man. Oh, hang on. Nope, you didn't miss us. Okay, well, that was fun. Wasn't that fun, guys? Okay, all right, well, here we go. Oh, Carrie, you were in the box. Well, I hope you had a good ride. Look at this. I have to get started on getting stuff ready for the pop-up shop because this is a mess. Okay, let's go back, shall we? I don't know what Emma and Colin ordered, but... Now they don't have to go track down the UPS man. All right, so I think I saw someone say the owl. And it does have a little toggle switch there too, so you can turn it on and off without having to unplug it every time. All right, so we've got two things, guys. Pop up. Oh, I know. Let me tell you, I'm already stressed out about it. Stressing myself out. Okay. I have anagrams. So remember, if you see something, let me know. This has all of the little words inside here. The box is a little worse for wear, but it does have all the words. And I also have a bingo game with all the little wooden thing. That is a moose in a chair. We can pull the moose in a chair and look, he can, he can do a little jig. He is hand-carved. He's a hand-carved moose. And he is sitting in this little this little chair. So, if this piques anybody's interest, the moose in the chair. Um. Oh, yay, Daniel! Yay! Yay, yay, yay. That makes me so happy. Okay, I love this. Look at this old this old photo card with this geisha girl. And the, the picture is just colored. It's got pinks and blues. Isn't that so? Okay, so yes to the moose in the chair. I love this. I think she's just sweet. All right, so we'll put moose in chair. I wish so too. It's in, it's the first, it's Labor Day weekend. Do I have a single? Lamar, I do. Send me an email. Lamar, I'll show, well, I'll show it to you in a second. Well, let me just show it to you now. I have one left, Lamar. And the reason why I have this one left is because it has, it isn't through, but it just has a little hairline right there. So if you're interested and this one is Mark McCoy on the bottom. Just send me an email. Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter. Okay, what... Catherine, what did you say you wanted? What did I just show? Oh, the little geisha girl. Okay, the paint can. And I will include the flowers, too. I love this. I just think it's a paper label. So it is... It's vintage. There's no readout. It was... Um, made in Louisville, Kentucky. But I just think, especially with like pride, and I just loved it. I dug it out of someone's garage. Um, Catherine, if you want that, just send me an email. Um, okay, here's the deal about the hotels. 
I am not quite sure. I'm going to see if I can find out, but they are building a brand new, they're almost done. They said that's supposed to be opened up in the fall. Brand new Hampton Inn, which I myself love a Hampton Inn. That's where I prefer to stay. It's going to be brand new. It's like it's opening up this fall. I'm hoping it will be opened up Labor Day weekend. So, um, any other place, there is a Holiday Inn, um, there's a Motel 8, but, um, the, I, I, Bloomington is very nice, and it's about 30 minutes away, and there's some really nice antique malls and stuff in Bloomington as well, so, really within a 30-mile radius, you should be fine, but yeah, Hampton Inn is my favorite place to stay. All right, so, what else do we have here? Um... Does anybody need an ET lunchbox? There's an ET. It doesn't have the handle nor the thermos. It is from the 80s. I also have... Uh, okay, I'm just going to scan and you guys can start seeing things. If you see things, you can let me know. These are Hager candlesticks. Um, I they, they arrived... I When I ordered them, they were broke. They arrived broken, but I did repair the handle. Let me see. Um, you can't stay in my house. <laughs> okay, what? You want what, Michelle? I'm just scrolling up. What did you say that you would want? That, what did you see that you wanted, Michelle? Because you know I have a short-term memory. And I don't remember what you just said. Also, I have a Francoma um, shell. And I have a jar full of cooties. These are the original cooties. Now, they're not all there. It's just little bits and pieces of the cooties in this Jif Crunchy embossed jar. Um, I'm in Bedford. Bedford, Indiana. Um, Carrie, I live in... Do you want to sleep in with my dad? Because I have a three-bedroom ranch house and all the bedrooms are taken. You can share, you can, you can share with room with dad. <laughs> All right. I also have a moo cow. I have two moo cow creamers. This one and this one. <laughs> I don't blame you, Gary. <laughs> I also have, now I'm saving these for something else, but I also have this fun coffee can with these fun, look at the pink elephant and the flamingo. And the monkeys, the hippo, the tiger. This is a steel can. I'm not sure what was in here originally, but you can definitely use it as a um, as a riser. The green moo cow creamer. Okay, I saw that. I don't want to start rumors. I also have the checkers. I bought those the other day. What is on the lower shelves? You know what, Nancy? That's good. We need. To, I always for. I, the top, the top shelves are just so more convenient. So let's, oh, well, let's bend down here, guys. Okay. I do have the green bird vases. I have two of them. The can, please. Okay, roses, rose. Um, I'll grab the can. I have some Indiana University restaurant wear that is Shenango China. I've got this little uh, Fire King cream. No, it's just a creamer and a mug set. I've got the pear and apple chalkware. Oh, my goodness. Let me grab the can. I'll let you guys think about the things that I've shown. You think about the things I've shown right now. Um, yes, the pop-up will just be a Saturday and a Sunday. But I'm 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 kind of thinking that I might if I can get things organized well enough I might do them quarterly. So I'll do one every quarter. I also have a Washington headquarters Morristown, New Jersey Crown Ducal Ducal England plate, kind of like a blue willow wear. Any Tupperware? Oh, love the chalkware fruit. Um, I do carry. I'll show it in just a second. Uh, chalkware. 
I know I never show the low shelves because, oh, yay, Diana, yay, 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 because I don't like to bend over. <laughs> um, I have, oh, this big thing of chalkware. I don't know if they're apple. I think they're apples. It does have the hanger, so it hangs like that. So I have the apples. There is a little bit of wear on them. The pear and the apple. And then I have this, as far as chalkware fruit goes, this small little strawberry and pineapple made in Japan. So I do have that. I also have these mashers, which I like to say that they're for juggling, but they're not. They're some sort of a kitchen tool. Um, I have... Let's see what else is down here. Oh, I have a vintage crock pot. Lots of ephemera I need to go through. Fisher Price Airplane. Fisher Price Airplane. Fisher Price Apple. The pear and the apple. Actually, the pear and the apple, I'm going to, why don't you send me, I'll pull these aside. Lynn. Lynn, send me an email. I'll pull them aside for you, but send me an email on the pear and apple. Okay. Tupperware. I have these. These are the stackable condiment, not condiment, um, spice wrap, spice jars. They stack. I've got two green and orange. Now, the two of them have their... Now, these were just like um, decals that came with the kit, so they can peel off if you want them to. This one says chili powder and celery seed. They are Tupperware. Okay, the mashers. All right. And then I also have the, the Tupperware. They're actually full. I need to empty them, but I have that one as well. And I think that might be all the Tupperware. Because honestly, I tend to keep Tupperware. I love... Tupperware. Yeah, that's not the greatest, but okay. Someone said the mashers. I'm going to sell these as a set, I think. Well, we'll, we'll talk about it when we get there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, Fisher Price Apple. Okay. This is from the seventies. I think it has a date on here somewhere. When we sit down, I can look for it, but a lot of times you find these in the rubber stem and the leaves are pretty roached. That one's in really good condition. That's going to be fun for the postman. All right, so let's show the bottom shelves down here. I have, oh, I just got these. These are three uh, melamine plates these look these work great for um under pots and i have the three yellow mccoy bowls i have the honey makes or money makes honey bank a bear with no eyes i love him lifestyle is going to be just as soon as we're done picking things I also have, I've kind of been throwing like children's things over here. This is a rubber duck water bottle, like a hot water bottle thing. Okay, the bank. The beaded item here, I'll pull it, is a glass votive that someone has crafted. I buy these, I find these and I always buy them. These are beads and safety pins. So you put a candle in there and it just, it does look really nice. So that's what that is. Um, see, I got the bank cream and sugar sets. Yes. Well, I just sold one on Friday, but let me see if I have, I have a sugar, this like leaded crystal sugar set take the price. I'm trying to remember to take the price tags off, but it has the roses in it. I don't have the creamer that goes with that though. Um, oh, I do have, I have this. I have this sugar, covered sugar 
with the transferred flowers, and then it has the matching um, creamer. Not sure who makes it, but it's very Art Deco. It is a clear butter dish, and it has the handle, which I know a lot of people are looking for. Um, the red glass bird. Okay, it's got the cadmium in it. All of these will be offer-ups. Good morning, Elaine. Any fiesta? Mm -hmm. I don't think I do. No, I don't think that I do. Yes, anthropomorphic veggie. I've got the... Now, I don't know if these are... This they look like pumpkins to me. So I've got these these pumpkin guys and I got the donkeys and these crazy looking geese. But these are like I think these are like kind of more like what you're um I want to see a small bluebird close up. Shawnee corn shaker. N no. The horses? These are donkeys. These are horses. May they are, I think yeah, these are made in Korea. This one's got a little butterfly on his tail. Those aren't pumpkins they're apple and a pear they're just orange though so that's what made me think that they're pumpkins because of their color any anthropomorphic flowers no um the guy in the back with the guy in the back of the shakers without sh oh okay this guy here he is an Asian, I don't know if it's a man or a woman, and I have the other shaker here, but it just needs to be um, restrung. See, the, the thread has broke on that one, so I've got that. So, but yeah, they do, he, he does hold both of his baskets of flowers. Apple and pear with the eyes. Oh, the, well... These, Lynn, I've already promised them to Lynn. Lynn, do you, are you want, are you wanting these? If not, then I'll go ahead and pull them for today. The guy in the back. Oh, yeah, look at these guys. It's a man and a woman. And they've got these big eyes. Not jeweled eyes. They just have big eyes. But they're kind of fun, too. The Owl Shakers, third. Okay, so these Owl Shakers are not vintage. They are not vintage. It's, neither, it, neither are these and neither are those. They are not vintage. I mean, I will still sell them, but they, are not, they aren't vintage. Okay, the horses. Well, I feel bad because I've already told Lynn to email me, so I just want, you know... I want her to be able to email me. Okay, she wants them. Okay. Oh, the shakers. Ah, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I've lost track. So let's just put the crazy-eyed pumpkins in the sale. Gotcha. The train shakers. You guys are on a shakers. These are made, these are Anko, I think. Yeah, Anko made in Japan. Redware train shakers. Yes. What are what are Prixies? Well, yeah, I'm gonna put them in here. Prixies are pixies, but I call them Prixies just because I, that's what my dad has always called them. That's just what I have always called them. I actually do have a couple little of them right here that I could sell today. I don't know what they were made to do, but they've got their little holes in their head. And they are, um, I think they're made in, gosh, where are you made? 
France. They're made in France. They're French pixies or prixies. So, yeah. Those could be... Um, I could be sold to those today and as well. And I also have a little Home Co. Pixie tray. No. No, it's just something that I've always called them. No, nope, not usual. The Pixies can be, there have been lots of different makers. I just, I like them all. I don't discriminate against. I, I just like them all. Elves, Pixies, Fairies, whatever. Okay, so let's see. I mean, I can do the Pixies. I also have this cute, I just think that this was so cute. This was the alligator with the bird. And so I haven't shown this shelf yet. The Met Metro Pixies. They would be ornaments. I don't know what exactly that they were used for. What's the brown animal on? What's the brown and white animal on the bottom shelf? This is a cat teapot. However, he has a repair in his spout. He's got a little chippy right there. And... His spout in the back, this is the back of him, has been repaired and there's a hole there. So, that's what he is. I mean, I can pull him if there's any interest in that. So, we need to pick a couple more things, I do believe. Oh, there's the little birds. The little bird trinket dish, too. The canape rooster. I mean, I can do the Pixies. I can also do... Oh, these I think have sold. So pay no mind to these. But I can also do the little fancy happy girls. Yep, that was from Papa's Hall. The, a deer planter. I moved deer... I, no, no deer planter. I do have some deers. I have some um, deer figurines right here. Made in Japan. And I have this one little solo deer. Right there. No. Holiday Fairbanks. No. I don't have any of those. I do have a bank. A, ki a pink kitty bank. With pennies for her eyes. She's got a repair too. But I just couldn't resist her. I just think that she's fun. <laughs> Randy's saying the solo deer. Okay, hey, Randy girl, you send me an email about the solo deer. The green vase. Okay, I'll do the bird vases. I'll do I'll do the bird vases. Well, let me and let's take let's take these all over and see what we've got. Okay, solo deer, Siamese cat figures. I think those have sold. Actually, I think I, yeah, I think those have sold. Please give me, oh, thank you, Susical. Um, I do have a set of deer. All right, so let me, oh, yay, Joanne. Let's take this over there. You guys get ready. You're going to go for a ride in the basket. We'll set all these things out. Oh, you're going a little dark, but you're going for a ride, okay? Wee! You're riding in the basket. We're going to take this stuff out of the basket. When we get over here, are you having fun on your ride? Oh, wee! Wee! Okay. I need to move this box over. I gotta move Dolores' snacks over. I'll eat those snacks today. Okay. All right, let's put you back in your little case. And we'll flip you back around. So let's see. Wasn't that fun? I knew you guys would like your nice ride. All right, so I'm going to get these things out, and we'll count how many we have, and then we will start our sale. Now, I will say I am going to be doing these 
as a speed sale. They'll all be offer up. Um, once I start seeing some offers being in, I will start doing a countdown. I'm going to count down from 10. No, I'm going to count down from 15, but I'm not going to count. I'm not going to do it as slow as I normally do. Okay, so if you want something, get your bids in. Because once Karen types in, bid in, the bidding is over. And the person right above the bid end will be the winner of that item. So we're doing the speed style to save everybody time. And I think it's kind of fun myself. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna take all these things out and then we'll, we shall count. Make sure that we have all of the things. You know what, I'm gonna try to plug in that um, that owl lamp too, so you guys can see it. I need to double check. I should have double checked before now, but I had someone message me about something and I don't know, I want to say they said that they didn't want it, but there's no time for me to check. I'm also gonna plug you in so we don't lose you, okay? Okay, who is doing the bid end? Oh, okay, Tiger. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, Karen, though, for offering. I appreciate it. So Tiger is going to do the bid ends. All right, so I'm gonna plug in this owl. One, sorry, you just went for a little bump. One, speed bump. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I don't, and then plus the drum would be 16. I don't know how we did it, but we picked just the right amount. Um, was it a slanted jug with a popped out piece? Uh, you guys might be talking about something else. Let me plug in the owl so I can show it in all of its glory. When we sell it. Are you gonna turn on little owl? Kind of. I think that, okay, there he is. Now, I am not a fan of the bulb that is in this little owl, but because it, I don't know if it's a flickering bulb or what, but, oh, you can't even tell because of that light. There's an orange light bulb. Let me turn off the light. I'm a hot mess today. That's all I know. Let's see if this is any better as far as seeing. Can you see that a little bit? So his eyes are plastic. So the orange lights his belly and his eyeballs up there. It does have a little toggle switch too. So should I? That's okay, Tiger, if you can. If you can do it, Karen's got her got her hands full with her babies, with her grandbabies. I just need an okay. So Tiger, Tiger, are you going to do? I people are saying that that Karen, Karen, that you are babysitting. So if, if it's better for Tiger to do, okay, okay. Oh wait, you were wrong, Carrie. What were you wrong about? Well, listen, I don't want to make anybody mad. So if Karen wants to do it, Karen can do it. If Karen can't do it, then Tiger can do it. I just don't want to make anybody mad. So you, who, I just need to know who it is. So Karen, are you able to do it? I said you could do it first. So if you are able to do it, Karen, then you can, then we'll let you do it. <laughs> so let's just confirm who's going to be the bid ender Karen are you the bid ender okay you never know though sometimes people get so mad at me all right 
Thank you, Karen, for being gracious. Tiger. <laughs> Tiger's going to do it. Look, let's get going. I'm going to turn the light back on because it's a lot brighter for you to see the, the other things. So, ugh. also, who's on first? I don't know. What's his name? I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to get these close to me. And the thing of it is, too, I also have to write these things down. So, it's going to be a quick sale, but, you know, I still have to write everybody everything down. So, I'm going to do that right now. Um, I'm going to at least write the item down. That will help me. So, tonight, while I'm doing this, I will just do a little bit of announcements. Uh, tonight, the Vintage Rescue Squad will be on Michael, the Cult of Vintage channel. Um, he, at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, we will have um, Dagny. The Dagny! She will be there, as well as Kim, a little sweet Kim from Oh My Vintage. So, that is going, it's going to be a really good good show. Hi, Virginia. It's going to be a fun show. We're going to talk a little bit about real life. Um, reselling real life. Horse. Ooh, I didn't spell horse the right way. Horse. Wow. Horse shakers. Um, we have, I'm going to put jugglers down. I will know what it is. Jugglers. We know what it is, though. And then we have Animal Can. Paint Can. Bee House. Imperial. Um, Apple. Orange shakers, cow, creamer, uh, train shakers, and the bird vases. Now, there's two of them, so um, two people will get to win those. Here we go. Um, so tonight, Vintage Rescue Squad will be on Michael the Cult of Vintage's channel. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to talk about real life, about the reality when you're filming. If you film content, you know, you get comments that people are saying that you're making them sick and all that kind of stuff. It happens to me all the time, and I'm well aware of it. But, um, so we're going to talk about that and also, you know, whatever else y'all, you know, want to talk about. And then tomorrow is the Vintage Rescue Squad. No. Tomorrow is the Three's Company live sale with Michelle, Michael, and I at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And then Wednesday, I'm going to be having a sale with Jamie Mid-Century Wasted here on my channel at 1 o'clock. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And then I may throw in an Instagram sale. Linen sale. Mm-hmm. Yeah, make sure Dagny shows her hand so we really know it's her. Oh my gosh, you're funny, Holly. Okay. Now, let's get, let's get it going. Are you ready, Tiger? Let's get going with these cute little made in Korea. I don't think they've ever been used. The little horse, horse, H-O-R-S-E, not H-O-R-S-E, <laughs> horse, horse shakers. This one has a little flower in its mouth. That one has a little butterfly on its bum. But they're very, very cute. They both have their stoppers. They can be used if you want to. They are made in Korea. They are vintage. They're not, you know, terribly, they're terribly vintage, but they are vintage. I'm going to start these at $10 for the pair. So $10 for is the starting price for the cute little blonde horse shakers. I love the little tail. Of course, you know, there's a siren. Wouldn't be, wouldn't be a live without going all right krista is starting off at twenty dollars twenty dollars is the opening high bid Whew. okay so
So Melinda is at 21. Okay, so here we go. Tiger, are you ready? I'm gonna start counting down. We're, Chris is at 25, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. And I see Krista is at $27 for the blonde horse shakers. There aren't any flaws. Um, that's just a little bit of smooch I got to rub off. All right, so now we're just looking for the bid end. And I see Krista Morgan at $27 got the bid end. Krista Morgan. Thank you so much, Krista. $27. All right. Yes, you can email me if you've seen something on the shelf that I didn't pull. Absolutely email me. As well as like when I'm doing haul videos, if you see something, email me. Let's go ahead and do the owl lamp. Now, I don't know. There isn't a maker mark on this, but on the bottom there is DS. So, I don't know if this was a studio piece, but the lights are really bright. But it does have this base here that when you pull it out, that has like a little flame bulb in there, which I will include. Um, but he has little plastic eyeballs. And so I kind of, I mean, it is kind of nice with the orange light in here. At first I was like, I'm not so sure. Well, and if you, this is like a puzzle piece. Let's see. Oh, come on. He goes back to get there we go but there's his little feet down there at the bottom no chips or cracks or flaws on him he is painted and then has a glaze over him so he's not bisque but he's very cute he is sculpted on the back as well he has the toggle switch the wiring is good i'm going to start him at 25 dollars it would be very cute for halloween but you could if you're an owl lover you could leave him out all year round too but he would be really cute. You could even put like a little bow around his neck, like a little Halloween or even a black and white polka dotted bow. That would make him very cute as well. I'm starting the bidding at $25 for the owl lamp. But his eyes are textured. His eyes right here are plastic. The winner will send your um, your actual name, your your YouTube name, your actual name if it's different, your full shipping address, and your PayPal email. All right, I see you, Pam, at twenty six dollars. Twenty six dollars. I see Suzanne at thirty. He isn't very heavy, too. Honestly, he would fit in a ten by eight by six box, probably just fine. And I will wrap him, you know, I'll wrap, I always wrap my things pretty well, but I'll wrap him nice, safe, and secure. But he's very cute. I've never seen one like it. All right, I see Pam Avery at 31. I'm going to start counting down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. I uh, pull a close, close up. Well, 6. Wait, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bid end. Bid end. It is a modern plug. So it's not it's not a vintage plug. Alright, I see that you are out right now. I am seeing Michelle Ash at $36. Just waiting for the bid end for the owl lamp. All right, Suzanne Lauber, you got it for $37. Suzanne. Oh, and I probably should have said, too, we're not doing just in case. I'm considering doing just in case on Wednesday, but I don't know, maybe not, because Jamie may not be comfortable with just in case on Wednesdays, but I'm considering maybe just doing my, I don't know. We'll see, because some people like the just-in cases and some people don't, but it seems like lately a lot of people have been liking them because if you really want something, you get your just-in-case in there. It gives you a little bit more security that you are going to get the item that you wanted. All right, so next I'm going to do the, the 
I don't know what these are. The squashers, the pounders, the jugglers. To me, they look like they belong in the circus. You know, weapons. Ooh. Look, Randy. You can use them as drumsticks for the drum. We'll get to the drum here in a minute. But they are, now these are a primitive piece. Um, they would look good. I act, these actually can't, they're mashers. Um, they, these came from my house. I had them in a, uh, a crock. This one does have a little split in it right there, but you can put them in a crock either like this or upside down like that, or one like this and one like that, or just kind of set them up on a table. You could, um, do all sorts of things with these, but I'm going to start them at $15 for the set. So you will get both of them for $15. There's the, these were a primitive kitchen tool. I'm not sure what kind of wood they are, but they were used. So starting them at $15, I see Martha at 15. Masters are good to be, oh yes, Nancy. Yeah, to as a stand for a hat. That's a really good idea. All right, I see Karen at 18. That is a really good idea. I was thinking like something, like someone would craft something with these, like Christmassy something with these. All right, I see Cranky Lady Vintage at 20. I'm gonna start counting down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, bid end. Bid. This one looks like a lady. I see, hi Sandra. I see Sue at 23. We're just waiting for the bid end. Sue Golembeski is at 23. Oh gosh, I need to not sing everything today. Thank you, Suzical. All right, there you are. Hi, Pamela. Sue Golembeski, you got them for 23. Sue. Now I will say too, everything that I am selling today and tomorrow and Wednesday, Thursday will be the day that I will be doing invoices, unless you specify otherwise. If you email me and you're like, no, Misty, go ahead and just go ahead and get my invoice ready today. I will. But if you know the things that I'm selling today, I do all the invoices on Thursday. So just letting you know that. You know, let's go ahead and do the drum. Let's do the drum. Randy, are you watching? I know Randy really wants this drum. She doesn't. But I bought this for myself thinking that I would use it at home for a 4th of July display, but I'm not. I, 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 I've, got to, I've got to draw the line somewhere, being a little ridiculous. But um, this is a lithograph drum. It is, I want to say, and I, like I said, I, I bought it for myself. So I'm gonna start it at what it doesn't say. But it has a little bit of rust down here at the bottom, but it does have like, sort of like all these bicentennial kind of stuff. There's Washington crossing the Delaware, and then we've got a soldier, and then the crest seal. But you know, it's solid on both sides. So you could put a plate on here, use it for some sort of a riser. I'm gonna start it at $25. $25 for the vintage drum. You can drum on both sides if you would like. There's a, a cavalry, horse guy, another soldier. I just think that it would just be, I just saw myself using it as a riser for something else. So starting the drum at $25 for the lithograph drum. It is lightweight, but it will go in a little bit bigger of a box. So just keep that in mind. I'm shipping from Indiana. I see you, Gia, at 25. Boom, 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 boom. Honestly, my husband's really happy that I'm selling this because I literally played it a lot the day that I got it. This is like a, um, a vellum on top. And this is like a, like a papery thing at the bottom. All right, I see Gia at 25. I'm gonna start counting down. 15. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 
two, one, bid in. Bid in for the drum. I liked it, but I'm getting a little ridiculous with it. Oh, I'll use it as a riser. Misty, you don't have enough space to use things as risers. You need to get rid of some of the stuff that you already have, Misty. All right, waiting for the bid end. And I do believe Gia, you got it at $25. Congratulations. Gia, Gia Schaefer. All right, let's do the paints. I love this. I will include the flowers because I think it looks really good together. This is the Gray Seal Paint Drops Hard Mixed Candy. Do not take too many at one time because you're not be able to get your hand. Wait, do not take. This isn't paint. This is candy. Paint drop candy. It's not paint. Hard mixed candy. Dumb, Misty. You, you, you not even, okay. Hard mixed candy. But the gray seal is a paint. Gray seal, paint. It's a paint. It's actual, it's, it's a paint man. But apparently, they made candy as well. And it says, warning, do not take too many at one time because you may not be able to get your hand out. And then it says, directions for use. Pry off lid. Dip hand into droplet can. Select one of the delicious candies inside. Retrieve hand. Pour mo pop morsel into mouth. Enjoy. Compliments of Gray Seal Paints, Louisville, Kentucky. So this was like a little um, promotional thing. Yeah, promotional thing. I did not make these flowers. I don't know where I, I got these flowers in something else. And then I, I found this in someone's garage. And, but I like the combination. Now, this paint can has a paper label, which is nice. It has a paper label. It isn't a litho, um, but it is a, it is an old can, you know, so it's not perfect. Perf it's not perfect. But I liked it. I love the rainbow around the top. I don't know. I'm going to start at $15. This isn't paint. This is candy. A candy. Promotional candy from Gray Brothers Paint. Or Gray Seal Paint. Because this is mine. I'm keeping this, by the way. But starting it at $15. I love it. I love everything about this. And it's great. It's just a great advertisement piece. And I will include the flowers in, the, in it as well. Okay, Martha, I see you at 15. So $15 for the gray seal. I, thought, I really thought this was like a little, like a quart pink can. No, it's for candy. Who? That's a good idea, honestly. But there is no readout on it. It is vintage. I would say it's probably from the 19, early 1970s, maybe late 1960s. All right. I see Cranky Lady at 16. I'm going to start counting down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end bid end on the paint drop hard candy thing no i did not make the flowers i actually i did make some that look like dandelions but i did not make these these are like have like a these were store bought all right and i surely you are at 17 bid end you got it shirley Quirrell, for 17 dollars Surely, you know where this would look really cute? In your vintage camper. I'm just going to say it. Your vintage camper, Shirley Pearl. Do you still have your vintage camper? 
Do you, do you still have it, Shirley? I'm curious. I'm going to look and see if this had the date. This is Fisher Price, the Happy Apple. No date on it. This is definite. Well, maybe. Wait, wait, wait. Night. No. Fisher Price, patent pending, made in the USA. I don't know. Oh, okay. Um, I'll. Tr Ooh, I think I've got some in around here somewhere. I'll see if I can find some. They're very, very easy to make. Oh, I have some right up there. I'll grab them. Okay, this is the Fisher Price Happy Apple. Um, this is definitely from the 1970s. I had this as a baby. I was born, I was built, I was built in 1975. I was born in 1975 and I had this toy as a baby. This is definitely from probably the late 60s, early 1970s. A lot of times you have them, you, when you find them, the rubber stem and the leaves are kind of rotted off. But this is the Fisher Price Happy Apple. There are some surface wear and surface scratches on it. It does say the Fisher Price Happy Apple right here. I'm going to start him at $12. And you know what? The, the great thing about this is that this can still be played with by a child. I mean, if you have a grandchild or a grandbaby, you know, it can still be played with. It's just like a little roly-poly. You can't even see that. But, yeah, this is really cute. I'm going to start it. What did I say? Did I say 50? Oh, start $12. <laughs> Thank you, Sizzle, because I forget. Starting the apple at $12. That's kind of a calming sound, too. Kind of reminds me of wind chimes in a way all right i see you cindy at 12. like the storm's coming in you're sitting on your porch and you're listening to the wind chimes it is wind chimey it kind of feels good holding it in my hand all right cindy you are at 12 dollars. i'm going to start counting down 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bid end. That's a fun sound. Bid end on the Apple toy. Oh, Pamela's at 13. Or no, not Pamela. Sharon. Pamela's like, what? Sharon is at 13. Sharon, I see you at 13. Bid in. So Sharon Olson, you got it for $13. Sharon Olson. It's just a fun thing. All right. Let's do this can. This is a, I don't know if it was a coffee can or what. I don't know. There's no marks on this as to what can it, it was. Um, but there is a, it's a steel can. Uh, I think, it, so it's not aluminum. It's, this is an older one, probably from the 1970s. We've got a lion and a toucan and a mouse and a tiger and a monkey and a hippo and another monkey. And the pink elephant's my favorite with the flamingo and a very scared looking panda and a turtle and some worms. There's just all kinds kinds of animals on here and some little mushrooms so i'm going to start this can at 15 dollars. this would be really cute too to use as a riser as well oh maybe tang hmm. i don't know it doesn't say it does have the orange lid that comes with it it's very clean i see roses rose at 20 really fun to use as a riser all right, Cranky Lady Vintage is at 22. It is a steel can. I love the lashes on the elephant. Rose's Rose is at 24. Ooh, that would be like you could keep blocks and stuff in here in your kids' rooms. Or mat, ooh, I say magnets, but then they'd all stick to the inside. But yeah, that panda is looking a little worried about everything. Oh, there's three monkeys. That panda is like, um, y'all are nuts. 
All right, I'm gonna start counting down. I see Rose's Rose at 28, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. You could also, Randy, you could use it as a drum. We're looking for the bid end. I think that I see Rose's Rose at 28. Oh, what did I do with that? Bid in. All right. <laughs> Rose's Rose, you got it at 28. Rand I keep trying to get Randy to get all these musical things for her husband. All right, let's try. Now, my dad just got this. He just showed it to me this morning. He got two of them. This is a, uh, it's Whirly, made by Whirly. W-H-I-R-L-E-Y. Whirly Industries, Warren, Pennsylvania, patent pending. It is the little cow creamer, and it's got the fun green uh, daisies on the front. This is all plastic. You take the head off and you put your creamer or your milk or whatever you want to put in here. Honestly, it's just cute. Look at that. Looks like Bessie the cow. I'm going to start this at $10. $10 for the cow creamer, the Whirly Cow Creamer. It's marked there on the bottom. Whirly. All right, I see Rainy Girl at 10 this is all plastic. I know a lot of you probably really remember these, but these look really cute just sitting up on a shelf. Um, if you have a coffee bar too, it would look really nice. You could put your creamer in there. It's just kind of a fun way to serve the creamer. I see Krista at 25, but I don't, I rarely see them with this lime green. A lot of times you'll see it and it's just the brown, but the lime green with the daisies on it really make it look really fun, I think. All right, Krista is at 25. I'm going to start counting down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Randy's at 27. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end. Okay, Randy is at 27. Need a bid of 28 or up. Before the bid end. Krista is at 30. It is definitely a combo piece. You are for sure. No. And look, it pukes out your, your cream. Ooh, Randy got it at 31. 31. Randy. Good job, guys. Okay, let me take a drink. Listen, y'all, I needed some Starbucks this morning, and I was about to come unhinged if they did not have my drink. And they did. The Caramel Ribbon Crunch Frappuccino is my drink. Last time I went, they did not have it. So I was about to hurt somebody if they didn't have it today. But they did, so nobody got hurt in today's caffeine trip. All right, let's do the mousse. I have no clue about this mousse. This is something that dad had picked up. He's in his little chair. Now the chair is a little wonky right here, but the moose sits just fine in it. The moose sits just fine in his chair. Oh, you know why it's a little wonky? Because it's missing one of the little pegs right here. That's why. That's why it's a little wonky. But it has this nice little, uh, now this is, this is a, an older little chair here. Looks like it's made out of sticks. You know, and then the moose has a little flat bottom so he can sit, but he can dance. All of his arms and his little knees and everything are all jointed. And the joints are all in the wood. As you can see, you can't, I don't see any screws or anything on the sides here. So he was, I think he was hand carved and his eyes look to be glass. He's a little bit lighter on that side than he is on this side. So I'm going to start him. I'm going to start him at, at I'm going to start him at $18. He's pretty fabulous. 
Look at his antlers. This is pretty, this is, he's pretty good. So you get the moose and his chair. But what a great thing for a lodge. You know what, you could even put like, I don't know, you could like put something else in here with him, a little bottle brush tree. He's very, very cool. I see you, Martha, at 20. Yeah, he, I think that he's, the chair is definitely early. Look at the way that this chair is made. The chair is definitely early. And the moose himself, he's hand carved. There's no maker's mark or anything on him. Now, his antlers do come out, which actually make it pretty nice for shipping. They just stick in there. I mean, you could glue them in there if you want, but that will make it nice to ship because I can wrap them. Oop, wrong way. I can wrap them separately so they don't get damaged. Well, go back in there, antler. Did I put those in there wrong? Anyway, um, that the chair is at least 60 years old. Oh yeah, I, I agree, Elaine. The, this is a, the, the chair is definitely older than, than, than the moose. The moose is old. This, I would, this is an old chair. You could, I can tell it has the little teeny tiny little small nails. I should start counting down, I'm just talking. But I'm gonna start counting down when nice rack. We're at $35, so 10, or 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Bid end. I see you, Pam, at 40. The 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 carving on his face is really nice, too. Around his ear. It's really pretty nice. I see you, Susan K, at 46. Pam is at 48. And just looking for the bid end. There it is. Ooh, Susan K, you... Got it at 49. Pam, you were just, I hope, I mean, not, not that I hope, but I hope I'm not mistaken. I'm hoping I'm not needing to refresh. But if I do, that I know you guys will let me know. Yeah, it's very int intricate. In ink, well, you know what I mean. It's a word I can't say. Congratulations. Okay, well, let's do this little bird here. Little Cardinal of Virtue. This is, are you signed? Boy, some of the, sometimes the signatures are so hard to find. I am not seeing a signature on this. So that means it probably had a sticker on the bottom at one time. It does have the cadmium in it, which you, you are not going to be able to really tell because of the light. But the orange is kind of an amberina. So the orange around the, the base does glow. He does not have any chips. He's in excellent condition. A little red cardinal of each virtue. Thank you, Pat. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. So the little red bird of future virtue with the cadmium. Oh, now you can kind of see. Oh, now you can see. See that glow? The little amberina, the cadmium in the base. All right, I'm going to start him at $20, starting the Cardinal of Virtue at $20. It is unsigned, which means it more than likely had the sticker on the bottom that is no longer with us. Rip, it's no longer with us. The Red Cardinal of Virtue, starting it at $20. All right, I see Sean at $30. Tammy, hey, Tammy, is at $32. Does glow the cadmium oh look at that i love it when i can get a good glow on film cadmium red bird of virtue no chips on its little top or its beak or its tail sean christine jones i see you at no donna zell i see you at 35 i'm gonna start counting down so get your bids in now 15 14 13 12 11 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bid end. I know, I agree. They're like, oh, well, let's take the sticker off. Lisa, you're at 40. And now, and then now we're like, why did you take the sticker off? I leave the sticker on everything now because you just never know. Lisa, you are at $40 waiting on the bid and bid end. So Lisa Yates, you got it for $40. Congratulations, Lisa Yates. Good job. Thank you so much. All right, the next thing we're going to do are these fellas. Now, I, I still think that they're pumpkins, but this does look like a pear. It's shaped like a pear. This is shaped like an apple, but they're, they are orange. Like they're Halloween orange. Um, and it kind of looks like this one's giving this one's a kiss and this one's like, oh my goodness. But they could be apples. Hey, Yvonne. Um, they're just, you know, cause they do, there are tall pumpkins like this. You know, my favorite children's story is the littlest pumpkin. That's a great, oh, I love the littlest pumpkin. But anyway, that, that's what this reminds me of. I'm going to start these at $16. They are a they, uh, single unit, so they don't come apart. The, the stopper is missing in this guy, but it is apparent, or it is there in this guy. Um, made in Japan. It's in really good condition. No chips or cracks. The, the paint is still really nice. Shakers on this side for that guy and this side on this one. So starting these at $16. I know the Littlest Pumpkin is my favorite. Favorite. All right. So starting bid is $16 for the Anthropomorphic Pumpkin. What I think are pumpkin. But they could be apples or pears to you. Um, Sarah, you don't have to sign up. You can just bid all you, all you'll need to do though is send me your, um, information so I can know where to bill you and ship your things. Um, send me an email, thriftyjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com. The way that it works for me, if I don't hear from you, <laughs> then I can't send your thing out and then I just resell it. Um, if I have your information and you just don't pay your invoice, then it will also be resold, but then you will be blocked from being able to make any future future purchases because it does take me a lot of time to get the things wrapped up. And so I feel like if my time is wasted, then, then I don't want to waste my time. It doesn't happen very often, but it does happen. Okay, I see straighten your eye vintage at 18. So let's go ahead and start counting down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end, baby. Bid end. Bid end for the pumpkin apple pear people. Anthropomorphic pumpkin apple pear people. There they are. Yeah, well, you know, it just, it's, it's, now listen, and I know that, thank you so much, Tiger, so straighten your eye vintage, you got him for $18. Um, the thing of it is, now we're, okay, these were 18. Um, I know that things happen, I know that things come up, absolutely know that things come up, but all you gotta do is email me. Um, and, you know, things can be worked out. But if I don't hear from you, then I don't know. Okay, so make sure, though, that you guys do send me an email with all your information, though. Um, where did I miss? Yeah, it, it does take me a lot of time. I, I, Thursdays, I usually spend between 10 and 12 hours nonstop um, shipping. You did bid and emailed you, and you never... Did you send me an email to thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com? It uh, nothing ever goes into my to my um, spam, so make sure that you, you're sending it to thrift or junk or vintage hunter at gmail.com. Okay, all right, and there we go. I'm gonna take a drinky drink. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, I'm from Indiana. Mm hmm Yeah. And people that are just newly joining, welcome. And, and it, sometimes it takes people a few times to get used to everything, and that's okay. Um, and if you ever have any questions, all you have to do is send me an email. Just send, send me an email and ask me. I'm happy to answer your questions. Um, I was very behind on my emails over the weekend because I had that sale Friday night and then Mark wanted to go shop. We went shopping on Friday. It was just kind of a weird weekend, so that's why. All right, the next thing is this little deer. Angela, I popped in on your sale for a little bit. I didn't say anything because sometimes it feels like it distracts, but you did really good. I saw you selling some of your shakers. It was a good sale last night, Angela. I laid it. I was laying on my couch and I was watching you. Okay, a little baby deer. She's got pink ears. I, don't, I guess she's a fawn. She's made in Japan. She's all by her lonesome. And I'm going to start her at $6. $6 for the little baby deer laying down. $6. Okay, I see you. Okay, I see you, Natalie, at... Seven. Little baby deer. All right. Oh, I see Krista Morgan at 12. 12, 12, 12. Oh, thank you. Straighten your eye. I, 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 I try to be, but it's hard. I mean, Krista is at 16. It's hard because, you know, I want to try because uh, people and we're actually this is the topic. We are going to talk about this tonight um, on Vintage Rescue Squad. Oh, yay, Angela. Yay, yay, yay. I'm so glad. It's hard. Um, a, a lot of times, Chris is at 20. I'm going to start counting down. I'm going to, I'm, I'm try, I try to make this a speed sale, and I here I am just a jab, 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 and this is what we're, we're going to talk about this topic tonight. It kind of goes along with Michael's video today, The Cult of Vintage. So if you haven't watched Michael's video, The Cult of Vintage, make sure you go watch it. All right, so we are at $21, so I'm going to start counting down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. Bid end for the deer. I attend a lot more sales and chats than people realize, but I don't always say anything because Krista's at 22. Because it, sometimes, because I think when you go in and you, when you ha, then like you you want to say hi to everybody, but you can't. Okay. Oh, Randy, girl, you. Got, I want to refresh. Just I don't want to say the wrong thing. I'm seeing what I. But Tiger, if you could refresh, just so I don't say the wrong thing, and then I'll feel bad for saying. Because that was that was some close close bidding there. You never, Jolene, you never got, send me an email right now. Thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com. Okay, Randy Girl, you got it at 23. Yay. I mean, yay, I would have been happy if Krista got it too, but I just, that's who I have written down. So I just wanted to make sure because that was close. <laughs> Krista, Krista, Randy, Krista's going to need you to go take a nap. Oh, oh, did you see what Jamie said? Jamie is selling this exact same deer and its baby on Wednesday. So make sure that you come to our sale, me and Jamie. Yay, yay. Okay. The next thing. Now, Tiger, this is purple. Tiger, are you wanting to bid on the purple thing? Oh, I don't know. If you, that's a good point, Gia. If you just send me an email with your info, I typically I don't re reply back. And maybe that's bad of me, but I just don't because I, I get a lot of emails. If you reply, okay, thank you. If you reply um, or if you're asking me a question or if you purchase something, but if you if you just if you send me an email and it's just to say here's my information, I don't always reply back. All right, so. Here is a beautiful Imperial the sticker. I'm going to get that sticker back on, but it's handcrafted Imperial. It is a Carrie Bulbous 
bulbous the little vase and can you see the lines in there now those lines are on the inside of the vase it's beautiful and my favorite part is it has the original imperial stamp there on the bottom all right i am going to start this at 18 dollars for the beautiful imperial there's no chips or cracks on it anywhere i know everyone loves that word there is the imperial stamp there or the tag on the bottom it does have the original sticker there but it is just really oh purple girl there he is it is just really nice I love how it kind of is hypnotizing. All right, I see Purple Girl at 20. I see some, no, I see Tammy Tidbits at 30. I like Susical how you put the bulbous in there. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna start counting down. The high bid right now is Tammy Tidbits at 30, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bid end. All right, I see purple goes out. I'm thinking I'm seeing Samantha at 35 waiting on the bid end. Okay, gotcha. See, I've already forgotten. Samantha Richer, you got it at 35. Okay. Congratulations. All right, the next thing is this little B bank. Now, it oh yeah, well happy birthday. Happy birthday. So Okay. I will check, Chrissy. I will check. This has some issues. Okay, I'm not going to lie, but it was too cute. I couldn't resist to not buy it. But it says, money makes honey. I think at one time it had something here that may have closed to block the, the bank. Because there's where you put the money in. And the bees have no wings. But they're a little spring bee. I don't know. I just thought it was so cute. I just It's made in Japan. Sometimes you just can't resist things. It was just different and fun and unique. And I'm going to start this at $8. $8, Money Makes Honey, the little wooden. It is made out of wood, the little B bank. So we're starting this at $8. I think that it's so cute. I just think it's a little cute on the shelf. And it has sprint. Anything with motion on it, I'm just like, ooh, I'm there. I'm there. All right, I see a bid for Carmen Cranky Lady Vintage is at $8. All right, $8. I'm going to start counting down. Uh, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, bid end. Mutant birds or bees. They're getting into the house. All right, bid in. You got them, Carmen, for $8. Cranky lady vintage. Congratulations. All right, we have two things left. The first is or are these redware shakers they are trains they are floral trains oh my gosh there's tape they are enco japan redware choo-choo trains choo -choo. they are the steam engines they've got their little steam and flowers coming out at the top these are in excellent condition they are cold painted on there, and the cold paint is still very, very vibrant on there. So I am starting these at $12 for the little choo-choo trains. Redware, they both have their stoppers, and you get the salt and pepper out of the back windows. So starting these at 
12.rcubobby at 12. For the train. I like how they have like the little um, the rail there painted on too. They're, they're masculine but feminine all at the same time. Which I think is, is really kind of fun to put in your decor. All right. Bobby is at 12. I'm going to start counting down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid in. Cow catcher. Yeah, Ladale. Bid in. And that's what those are called. Which is kind of a horrible thing to think about. But yeah, that's what they're called. All right. Uh, Tiger, will you refresh? Because I see Liddell, but I just want to make sure that she got, it was after the, after the bid end. Congratulations, I think Bobby Earp got it, but I just want, we're at 12, but just want to make sure because Ladale was right there, right there too. Okay, the last thing, and do you think, I'm going to ask the, the majority, do you think Bobby Earp got him at 12. Thank you so much, Tiger. I have these two Celadon green vases that are exactly the same. They're exactly the same. So I'm going to sell them separately. What I will do is that the person that wins them, I will give you the option if you want to purchase both of them. If not, then we'll go, we'll, we'll, we'll do the other one. But um, they're exactly the same. They're in pristine condition both of them have oh don't split the now see <laughs> let's see i it's separate people are saying separate don't split the picture. but vanilla they're exactly the same they're even facing the same direction choice okay i'm gonna give choice so if the person that's getting them, if they want both of them, then they can they can purchase both of them. So I'm going to do it that way. All right. So I'm going to start the bidding for this at uh, $16. There are a couple spots that the glaze did not stick. So they're not, it's more or less a glazing flaw, I guess. They're not chips, but they're these really pretty, you know, I'm going to borrow these flowers. Celadon green, but look how good that looks with yellow and pink flowers in there. Very, very summery spring, but that Celadon green. And the beaks are both, have the yellow cold paint, and there's no chips on the beaks either. They're in really, really good condition. Okay, I see Karen Radford as it has the high bid of 30. And I like the very deco feel to them with the swirls. Now, the flowers don't come with them because the flowers go with the paint can, but I'm just using this as an example. So, I see Jana, no, Amy Dobbins is at $38. So, I'm going to go ahead and start counting down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Jana is at 42. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Amy's at 45, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. Janet is at 47, just looking for the bid end. I like all the motion in there. Oh, Janet is at 50, um, bid end. So, Janet, now... Jana, do you want the pair or do you want just one? Okay, so Jana wants one. So, Amy Dobbins, you were the next in line. Do you want the other one for 50? 
Amy Dobbins, do you want the other one for 50? It's exactly the same. Okay, that worked out well. So, Amy Dobbins, you got the other one. You were the next in line. You got the other one for 450. So, congratulations, guys. Congratulations. And I think that's it. We did it all. We did it all. A little bit slower because, you know, I like to do this in an, in an hour, but I did want to open up the, the friend mail that I had received, and I really, really appreciate it. I need to start, I might start doing the friend mail openings on Instagram. It's just hard to get it all in because I'm trying to make this more streamlined on Mondays where we go pick and we go sell, and I get it done in an hour, and it's a quick it's a quick bid. It's a quick sale. So I appreciate you guys spending some time with me today. I like the fast sales too. Um, it, I don't know. It's just kind of fun for me. Now I like to talk and do all, do all that kind of stuff too. But um, but yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. So I really appreciate you guys watching and joining in. And again, if you saw something on the shelves that I didn't pull, you can send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com. And I'll let you know if it's available now or if I'm going to save it for an upcoming live sale. Don't forget tonight at eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time, the Vintage Rescue Squad will be on Michael, the Cult of Vintage's channel. Make sure that you go and watch his video today because his video is going to have a little something to do with what we're talking about tonight. So make sure that you do go and watch that video. I appreciate you guys so much. And thank you again for watching. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.